All right, here with Coach Yu after Bruins picking up their first win of the season, first win region win of the season, Coach. Uh, we normally play Trinity a little later in the season. Uh, I know you were talking earlier about uh, the importance of these region games and coming away with Ws. Uh, so what was it like playing them so early in the season and, and playing the way that we did tonight? Well, this year is crazy for everybody. And, you know, we none of us know for sure when or if we're going to be able to play a next game. And they're... They have a really similar lineup to us, um, mostly freshmen and sophomores, uh, but they do have one or two guys uh, that are upperclassmen just like we do. And so it was really, we really just wanted to see how we competed with them. And you know, when you're, when you're playing a game like that, it's, I think when your team is away from you defensively in the second half, I think that's where um, just really a lack of experience starts to show itself. And so there's a lot of good things, but if I had to pick one thing, you know, that's, that's just something that we saw um, in the second half as they, they weren't doing exactly what we wanted when when they were, were away from my booming voice. Yeah, absolutely. We had six guys scoring double figures tonight. Um, I know you've talked about the potential this team has and the amount of weapons that we have all throughout, you know, guys one through 15 so uh you got to be pleased with six guys coming away with double figures it makes us tough to guard yeah I, I think this was probably kendall's best game and that's not because uh kendall had 16 um that's part of it but i thought he defended well uh he did a pretty good job uh, against a really active guy he did a pretty good job of staying out of out of foul trouble and then you know mark dickerson came in and off the bench had 11. i think he had four steals by halftime. I, I, I would have to check that, but uh, Mark came right off and had, had I think, four steals and, and made a huge contribution off the bench. And the way I, I, I've tried to view my teams probably over the last 10 years that I've coached is that I really have eight or nine starters, and it just depends on who we play and what I want out of a lineup for who can start. And I think we have a culture in our program where they're unselfish enough to – uh, to realize that and they're happy when somebody else gets a chance. Uh, I thought our bench did a really good job of celebrating uh, the way their team was playing and you know to only end up with 15 turnovers for the game you know how many times we sat here last year uh, with a senior laden team and we were 24 25 turnovers and you know the games where we can keep it around 14 or 15 turnovers we're gonna have a chance to be in it. Um, 16 of 18 from the free throw line that always gives you a chance and then 10 for 28 from the three-point line and so uh, you know I've got a lot to be happy about uh, we play another NCCA opponent next Tuesday uh, we had a one team had to cancel because of, of COVID on their team and so we have another NCCA team that um, as far as me and Tony know we've never played before so that should be exciting Alrighty, coach thank you thank you